Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends. Welcome back, thank you so much for joining me. I hope this video finds you well. If you're new, hello, hi, my name's Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff with nail stuff and the stuff she does with nails is done with nail stuff and stuff with nails. Let's do some peaches. I filmed this a while ago um, and I didn't like it very much. What a great start. Um, <laughs> so I did the watermelons and I said I did a peach one and everyone said they wanted to see the peach one. So here it is. It's not the best um, quality video. I don't know why the camera is. Anyway, I'm starting with an ombre. Um, I've done undress on the top half and we've put hot sauce on the <laughs> We're undressed on the top half and we've put hot sauce on the bottom half. I don't recommend this in real life, <laughs> only on nails. Uh, and then I'm ombreing with an ombre brush. I'll pop a link to my video for ombreing lots of different techniques with gel polish um, in the description. And then I, I did do two coats of that and then completely forgot about it. So we don't see that again till the end of the video. Uh, this nail is going to have undressed all over, completely naked. Um, and I think I do two like this. This was a while ago and I edited the video. I've just, just been sat doing nothing. Um, so I can't really remember <laughs> this. I did a thin coat of undressed here. Why did I do a very thin coat? Let's see. Okay. I know why I'm going to do a marble on this one. So I'm taking the first base. I'm doing a very thin coat. You can see it's almost dry brushing. There's a bit of friction as I'm applying that. And then I'm going to add some hot sauce and some more of the undressed um, in just sort of random diagonal wiggles. And then I'm going to take a brush and just run my brush through um, the orange into the nude, orange, nude, orange, nude, um, like I did in... I think the last video we did something like this um, and I will also put a link I've got a video on lots of different techniques for marbling as well so I'll pop a link for that in the description as well and I'll put a little card up on the screen here if I remember uh, so I'm just running my brush through I didn't know what I was doing with this set I think that's why I hadn't uploaded the video because I, I think at the time I was kind of I'm just making it up and not that happy with it. Um, so maybe if I didn't tell you that, then you might not think of it how I think of it. But I'm telling you, I'm being honest, I wasn't a fan. Uh, so I'm now taking Dreamcatcher. I did cure that because um, I didn't want this to get sort of mushed up in it. Dreamcatcher is amazing. It can go on anything. It's a bit like Opal Quartz. Have a look at both of those on the... Um, Diamond Glitters website. They are so gorgeous. So I'm running some of that through there, just random spots, mostly over the nude bits. Um, and then I thought it needed something else. So I just added some Alaska. Like I say, I was kind of just making it up as I went along. I do prefer to have a plan. Things go better. Uh, but I'm just adding some wiggly lines of Alaska and we've got a kind of marble kind of I don't know it's it is what it is as they say or it is what it is as they say uh, and I'm topping that with diamond gloss of course of course I could have topped I should have topped it with super gloss because it's a bit you know uneven in spots where we've got brush marks and you know the marbling going on but I wanted to top it in diamond gloss so I could then buff it because super gloss I wouldn't have had to buff but I wanted to buff because I enjoy the it's satisfying to top a buff nail that's got glitter on it but look the quality is just so bad it's focusing on my hands and not on the nail I will try and figure this out oh I hate editing and all that side of it just I just want to paint and be done with it um so that's that one <laughs> Um, and I'm not sure if it goes with any other nails in the set, but it's there. So if none of them go together, then this is just five different nails using a couple of colors. Uh, we're going to do some peaches on this one. So I'm starting with a kind of heart, but they're making it a lot rounder at the bottom and making one side of the heart. So one kind of hump 
maybe a bit taller than the other one and I don't want the the pointy bit in the middle of the heart for, at the top I don't want that to be a perfect V in the middle I kind of want to it's like a it's like a heart that started to melt there it's a drunk baby with a paintbrush heart it's a melted it's that shape duh pear shape peach shape what are we doing peaches <laughs> so i'm going to do a bunch of those all over the nail and then i will cure that in place i'm again using hot sauce for the um, peaches and we'll just keep doing those peaches were okay side note and this happened i'm doing the same thing on the nail so we've got time um this happens to me every day and every day i think i wonder if this happens to anyone else so i'm gonna ask you lovely people when i shower <laughs> Um, on the shower door, the glass shower door, I see from where like my hair's hit it or steam or whatever, I see images of things. And there was a peach in it yesterday, actually. There was a man and he was wearing a leotard. He was also wearing, um, oh, here I am just mixing some of the hot sauce with Alaska to make a lighter version of it um, and I'm going to paint just on one side of the peach so the high the high side the high you know one side of the the heart um was a bit taller so I'm just going to put it on there not too much um I think a couple of them I put too much on and then I wipe some off just to give it a kind of to tone it down a bit but also was I I think I was going for a kind of pencil drawing kind of look or was I, or did it just look like that at the end? I think it was probably that. Um, so I'm just giving it a kind of highlight as if the light's hitting it or something, just on that side. Um, but enough about that. Let's get back to my shower story. <laughs> so there was a man in the glass wearing a leotard. He also had a princess hat on, you know, the tall pointy ones with the tassels. Um, and he was dancing and he was also, he was holding a lead and on the end of this lead was one of those big, shaggy, hairy, highland cow things that had a hockey stick on its back. And underneath them both, hammerhead shark. I mean, does anybody else see these sorts of things? Um, and then I moved and some water splat on the door and the whole thing turned into what? And John. <laughs> anyway, um... I'm now taking, so I cured those with, <laughs> um, I cured the highlight bits we did. I'm now taking iced mocha and I'm just very, very lightly outlining. I haven't got much on my brush. I wasn't, you know, wanting it to be the same thickness all the way around or opacity of the line. It doesn't matter if it's lighter in places because it was kind of, go I, was, I think I was going for a kind of pencil drawn um you know not the the watermelons for example were very kind of solid there's the color you know it, it is block and bold I suppose whereas this is more kind of yeah rustic more rustic looking so I've brought a bit down into the peach color oh and I obviously forgot to add I added little stems um I don't know what happened to that footage um, so I'm adding little stems and now I'm taking Turtle Beach and I'm just doing some leaves so I'm doing a small half circle another one facing well a small curve another one facing it and then filling it in and when you fill it in so I've done the two curves there when you fill it in you can because it's so small um, fill it in with almost one stroke but take that stroke a little bit beyond where the two half circles meet and then the leaf will have a little point at the end does that make sense half a uh, curve curve and then as i fill it in i didn't do it on that one great um but as you fill it in you could pull it up a bit and you'll get a little point does that make sense i don't know i haven't eaten today my brain is not functioning right my whole body's like we're not doing anything productive or helpful unless you feed us um but anyway I'm adding some leaves so a couple of them I did one on some I did two and now I'm taking autumn khaki and just giving the leaves like a tiny bit of just a line nothing fancy just a bit of a line um 
My parents went to America once and my mum, when she came back, told me this story. She was in hysterics. Um, she said that some... So let me set the scene. Um, tr uh, pants, what you call pants in America, uh, trousers. So pants over here is like underpants. Uh, I'm topping that with diamond gloss and that's it. You see how it kind of looks like a pencil drawing that, yeah, does it? Is it just me? Anyway. Um, so, uh, where was I? What was I talking about? Trousers. Am I going to talk about the nails in this video or shall I just chit chat about nothing? What am I doing here? I'm doing a second coat of undress. Okay. So trousers, you call pants in America, but we call um, underwear, like knickers, boxer shorts, those sort of things. They're pants. And khaki, we say like that, khaki. Oh, like a car key. Um, and, but in America, you say khaki. Now, we'll get to why this is hilarious in a minute. I'm taking hot sauce. <laughs> um, and I'm, I was doing a peach, obviously, but I didn't want that V at the top to be right in the middle or even on both sides, because then it's going to look like a heart. So I kind of brought it over a bit further from the right inwards um, and a bit higher up as well. And then I'm doing exactly the same. I'm taking the mix of that with Alaska and just kind of lightening one side. Um, I think I put a bit too much on. That's too much on. Are you going to fix that? Yes, I think my brush is dry there. I kind of want it to be a bit translucent. So a very, very thin amount. Um, that's not blended very... Oh, no, it's going in the lamp. Uh, and then I'm going to do the same, outline it and add um, a leaf or two. We'll see. Um, to that as well. So it's exactly the same as how we've done the other ones. Khaki, right. So we would call them khaki trousers. This is an awful explanation for what I'm doing in the video but I kind of feel like it's self-explanatory is it anyway um but khaki over here like if something's a bit cack it's a bit shit because cack like in Spain isn't caca like poo poo <laughs> how have we got here um so when someone says khaki that's hilarious they're, they're saying poo um, so khaki to us, poo, shite, pants, underwear. So she was in America and someone said, um, oh, I love your khaki pants. <laughs> she was like, I beg your pardon. They said, your khaki pants. And then she realized she was wearing khaki trousers. But in her head, someone had just walked up to her in the street and gone, hey, I like your shitty niggas. <laughs> she's like what the f um i guess she had to be there um i wasn't there i found it kind of funny i'm now mixing um turtle beach with some alaska as well and i'm doing i'm giving the leaf some kind of highlights why i don't know um and then i'll cure those just to um give it a bit more I don't know I don't know what I was going for but it's it's I went I went um and then I'm outlining these with I think I'm am I outlining that with the brown oh I am or is that khaki khaki or is that is that shit uh I can't tell I think it's the khaki actually um yes I think it is um so I've outlined that and then I'm topping that not sure how I feel about it um, I think I should have bought the line that goes into the peach from the right. I think I should have bought that a lot more curved. So it gave it that kind of, you know, they where they go in a bit. I probably should have done that, but I didn't. And there we are. I'm now taking um, hot sauce again. And I didn't know what to do. So I just did a whole, I figured I, when you're doing just mainly two colors, you kind of want to have an even balance. So I thought we'll do a whole one with hot sauce and then I'm taking uh, Dreamcatcher again because we've got that somewhere else and it's always nice to tie in. If you've got one color on one nail, it's nice to tie it in somewhere else. It helps make the set. Um, and Dreamcatcher will go, will look different on different colors, but I love how it looks on this. It's kind of 
purple orange glow and I don't know it's just pretty um, and obviously like I said you can put on any color so we did a whole nail like that was that the end oh no we still got to go back to our um, ombre oh in my last video at the beginning so many people commented saying that their dogs were um, freaking out a bit at the beginning of my last video so my apologies to all the doggos I'm sorry Although somebody said that um, someone came running in the room because they thought there was a mouse. <laughs> uh, so I'm topping the ombre with diamond glass. I don't know why I was spending so long topping that. Um, and that's all of them. Is that marble? That marble makes sense. It's kind of like a, an uninvited party guest. Let me know what you think. Does it go? I don't know. Um, if you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you don't like it, well, you guys asked for it, so you only have yourselves to blame. <laughs> I'm kidding. I hope you have a wonderful Easter. Comment below and let me know what weird stuff you see in your shower door. Am I alone there? I hope not. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.